What's up, guys? What is up? It is Shani with Healing Elements, welcoming you back, of course, with a lot of love and light to my channel and my podcast. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, I am genuinely shouting you out and welcoming you, truly. Soul family members, totally glad to have you. And I always truly appreciate the people who come and view all the support you guys give to my life path of healing elements. You can always support my channel, of course, by subscribing, uh, sharing my videos to your social media and giving videos a thumbs up and commenting. I totally read every single comment and wholeheartedly appreciate the connectivity and interaction. This video, as a matter of fact, was recommended. Shout out Soul Family Member for recommending this spirit animal video about the moth. If you would like a notification about when I post new content um, in general on my YouTube channel, you can just click on the bell icon alongside the subscribe button. That way you will know when I post new videos to my channel, guys. So this is the newest addition to my playlist all about spirit animals. So if you guys throughout your life have ever resonated or known what your spirit animal perhaps is or what one of them is, maybe it is within this list already, you can always shout me out a comment and suggest one if it is not. Or if you guys are going through something currently in the past or will be going through something in your life and are, you know, being guided or seeing a specific animal or being guided just to find out about symbolism associated with those specific animals or animal totems and their symbolic meanings, I invite you to take a listen. Sit back, reflect, and see if any of the traits that I describe in this personal interpretation have any significance to you. So perhaps you are guided here to get any message of any kind. So that's all what I am about. Healing Elements is all about just providing you guys positivity and any resonance and validity, um, positive affirmations, guidance, or anything I can. So let's take a deep dive into our psyche and spirit. And this is all about the moth spirit animal, the spirit of the moth. And guys, so there is several, several very, very important meanings to the moth spirit animal. But one, of course, you know, you can read into is transformation, just like the butterfly spirit, the moth transforms from a caterpillar, a worm, into a cocoon, and goes through a change of a magical magnitude. So this spirit animal or you who resonate with this spirit, something about you, your persona, your choices, the way in which you are guided to live your life has or will be an extreme magical transformation or, you know, change of significant impactful magnitude. Also, the moth spirit animal to me has emphasis on being misread. So if you are misread, mislabeled, misjudged, um, or inaccurately stereotyped, you could, you resonate with this spirit animal. Also newly acquired skills, gifts, and abilities. You know, um, if you resonate with the spirit of the moth. You make projects into a kind of worm, right? You marinate it, you reconstruct it as needed, and you transform and change what is once something into another beautiful, more divine, and able something, a project. So you have the ability to create anything and make that creation take flight into the world after really marinating it and having it in an incubative state. The moth spirit animal also is symbolic of death itself, the afterlife and resurrection. Also, of course, rebirth, the cycle, i.e., you know, birth, death, and rebirth, you know, life after death. Also um, has a big meaning of and holds a lot of significance when even I, in the past, or others in different cultures throughout time, you know, resonate with a butterfly or a moth as the souls of one of their deceased family members. So there is a lot of emphasis even in Native American tribes with the moth spirit being that of the souls of their ancestors and uh, dead family members who've died within this lifetime with them. Also, of course, the moth spirit animal invokes and puts significance on immense change in general, usually of great impact, most notably 
um, in a spiritual sense. So spiritual awakening is very tied into the moth spirit animal, if you can imagine. Also, the moth spirit animal has meaning about the light, as moths are attracted to a flame or light of any kind. So, you know, the moth spirit animal means to be attracted to, to seek out, and to actually become or be on the path to becoming one with the light. So it is symbolic of the path to enlightenment. Um, Also, the moth spirit is regarded as a key spirit animal revered for being an analogy for, you know, the path to an enlightening experience or an epiphany, a spiritual awakening of profound, you know, substance. And again, this is metaphorically beautifully, you know, translated when you think of what people go through if they perhaps are criminal or anything of, you know, a negative vibrational self-sabotage or anything like that nature. And they transform into one of, let's say, a Buddhist monk or something that is of a positive helping Mother Teresa nature, right? That transformation is so immense, so impactful in their lives and everything around them. So again, it is very key on being an analogy for spiritual awakening or the path to enlightenment. Also, the moth spirit animal has meaning about being delicate. So to be delicate, you could be delicate in personality and appearance. And most often, moth spirit animal people, uh, those who resonate with this, are delicate in their actions and words and compassion toward others and how they handle matters are very delicate throughout your life. You're very sensitive, empathic, and delicate with how you deal with emotions. So there's a deep, deliberate, and delicate delicacy in your emotional depth. Depth, rather. So, guys, the moth spirit animal, although can be considered to be very symbiotic, very closely related to the butterfly spirit, I wanted to bring out a point. So, as the butterfly goes through metamorphosis, so does the moth, yet we often don't see many bumper stickers, let's say charms, decorations, you know, or hear poetry stories, or truly hear symbolic meaning being told of the moth spirit usually people will attach this to the butterfly it's usually attached to that probably because the butterfly is considered to be more physically attractive or bright colorful maybe right Uh, bold in your face perfectly graceful maybe and rightfully so you know it bears mentioning however the butterfly and the moth are one in the same the butterfly and moth spirit again are symbiotic and their spiritual meaning the energy behind it are one in the same as well you know this though is the underlying point i wanted to make by saying this in you know in truth in making you know the moth looks nearly identical to the butterfly it achieves the same kind of fascinating incredible changes and goes through a metamorphosis in a cocoon, right? It transforms and changes completely from one body to another with different capabilities. It is also subtle, like subtle, colorless, also attracted to bright lights, maybe the butterfly to the sun and the moth to a light because they're nocturnal, but they are one and the same, just looked at differently. So I feel that the underlying point is those who resonate with the moth spirit animal energy often are the spiritual backbone to the collective consciousness, but in a silent, unacknowledged way. The moth and the spirit animal embody is an unsung hero type, as some other spirit animals do, but one in particular who does not need, so you do not need nor strive for accolades, kudos, any kind of attaboys or over-the-top notoriety or attention. Yet you play a pivotal and integral part in the widely varying spectrum of life. Um, so your goal, if you resonate with the moth spirits, to change and to seek out that which is the light. So you are able to put that into play within many different spectrums of your life. And 
often are not judged accurately for what you are trying to do. However, you do not strive for that. So it typically does not bother you, although it can get to us all if it is heavy enough and any kind of narcissistic or gaslighting type of thing. So back to the main theme, of course, with the moth or the butterfly spirit animal, the magical transformation. Um, you, if you resonate with the moth spirit animal, use your past as the moth uses its cocoon to mold and shape you very, very intuitively and also practically guided. So as the moth uses, you use a magical mutation of sorts to form a new you. You often can look back at your quote unquote former self or another way to say it, quote, the person who you used to be and truly find the person or traits or way of life to be unrecognizable and this pleases you because of course, usually those who resonate with this spirit evolve in higher vibrations are able to evolve and live a more satisfying or pleasing or healthy lifestyle. So upon looking back, no regrets. However, noticing the transformation is a divine gift that you give yourself and it's beautiful. One of recognition and self-love is important. Again, the moth spirit animal also represents to seek out and be one of the light. So one of divine light you attract most definitely and are attracted to the light, to use the light, to our better angels, to light hearted approaches, to, you know, craft your divinely gifted abilities that you welcome with open arms. You are often drawn also to see the lighter or good side of people in situations. So again, you are absolutely guided toward the light and you get that, you know, quip, that phrase, like a moth to a flame, that it sums it up. You are drawn and you seek to find the light. You also guide others and allow them to draw within and be able to seek the light themselves, what that means for them. Also, you know, a meaning to me, I feel that the moth spirit animal represents is one of surrender. So the moth spirit animal energy speaks of letting go and the art of surrendering to the process, right? Of transformation, of knowing that there's birth, death, but also rebirth. So many times in life, we, especially as human beings, need critical thinking. Um, yet just as many times we need to surrender just as animal instincts invoke and accept the difficult task of what it is, what we have in front of us and the difficult task of transforming ourselves through situations and for the better at the other end. So the moth instinctively just begins the process of metamorphosis. It is drawn and guided, but doesn't balk and never misses the opportunity to create a continuous cycle of rebirth into the cocoon and out as a winged creature from one that was of a crawling worm or caterpillar in the ground. It is, you know, indicative of a person, the moth spirit, who continues complicated processes throughout their life of any kind of metamorphosis, you know, um, also remaining in a, again, surrendered, surrender to the process, meditative state being present and allowing things to flow, the ease of flow analogy I often give, allowing to sit with even potential discomfort and accept that all is where and is what it needs and is supposed to be. Also, I feel like there is meaning with this moth spirit about enduring any kind of health challenges. So amputations, disease, disabilities, I feel like this is handled with grace, with acceptance, and without feeling an ounce of any kind of embarrassment or setback from these, what some would consider to be disabilities. You turn a disability into an ability. You endure pain, both physical and emotional, and are able to, again, sit with it and be present and surrender to the pain. I'm sure the metaphor that I want you to think about is the one I got is the moth endures some form, I would imagine, of, although we can't prove it, of discomfort, right? 
during its metamorphosis, when it is changing from a worm or caterpillar into some goo, basically, <laughs> plasma of life, and reconstructs and regenerates and reforms itself into a moth with wings. At some point, the moth must be in pain, right? It must hurt physically, even emotionally, we don't know, to change in such an impactful way, change its form completely, right? So the lesson that is within the moth spirit and the lesson you folks who resonate with the moth spirit animal teach us is just that, yep, accept it, surrender, and toughen up, be patient, take the pain with the pleasure. Changing form does hurt. You know, it is painful to make changes, but the outcome is always at the other end, magical and something that is absolutely amazing. Also, if you resonate with the moth spirit, you know, people can become envious of you, downright hateful at times. Again, that symbolic meaning that I feel comes with the moth Uh, People putting out bug traps or really feeling like a moth is a nuisance when a butterfly would be a welcome sight at times, right? Um, So people can often project their own aggravation towards someone of such light. And due to the strength of character of seeking the light and just being one of a higher vibration, this can cause people to, of course, project what they cannot process out on you. So just like... When humans, again, set up traps, the light boxes housed in those little hanging apparatuses to lure the moths in who are headed toward the light, minding their own peaceful life path moth business, right? People who cannot attract, just like these people who set out these metaphorical light box house traps, if they cannot be drawn or attract light or be attracted to light, right, they will invent ways in life to snare you. So just beware. Always keep your head up and know that you're doing the right thing. They will always be willing. You know, I call them the hater nation corporation among many things to, they'll just be ready to bug zap you right after luring you purposefully with a false narrative, you know, lit up brighter than a bug zapper on a starless new moon night like tonight. Right? So just be assured that you are one of the light and you are, also bring people to a more compassionate and lighter approach as well. And to leave you off, another beautiful symbolic meaning with the moth spirit animal is delicacy. So to be or feel that which is delicate. Um, If you touch the moth too much, right, the oils of humans, their wings or bodies can be hindered, hindered, their health is hindered. It's delicate fibers, the moth's wings and your delicate fibers and everything that is you, you know, your incredible stardust, you are incredibly delicate. And in fact, in Celtic mythology, for example, one of the things that they viewed the, you know, butterflies and moths to represent was tenderness, innocence, beauty, and delicacy to be, you know, delicate. Although, too, they also, I should mention, associated moths with death at times, which is pretty indicative of many cultures, including the Native American cultures, um, having big symbolism with, again, transformation and resurrection. Uh, They feel that the moth spirit, animal and butterflies, embodies the truth that, you know, of our cyclic, cyclic nature the truth that life is a circle with no end, birth, death, and rebirth, and then repeat. So family members, blessings, love, and light to you guys. That was my interpretation of what is considered to be meaning and what I described to be the moth spirit animal, guys. Blessings, love, and light.